Today I'm standing inside the left hand undercarriage bay on a 747-400 and we shall have a, a look around. This is a support beam that is attached to the fuselage and the rear spar, taking part of the weight of the aircraft through the undercarriage. And now we're looking at the rear face of the rear wing spar with the various hydraulic pipes and fuel com system components. The override jetson pumps are used to supply fuel to the jettison manifold which then discharges the fuel overboard through two jettison nozzles on the two wing tips during an in-flight emergency to reduce the weight of the aircraft to a permitted landing weight. Under normal operation, these pumps supply fuel to the engines. There are two override jetson pumps fitted to tanks 2, 3, the centre tank and the horizontal stabiliser tank. Forward and aft main boost pumps feed fuel to the engines. The forward boost pump is on the front spar of the wing. There is a forward and aft main boost pump fitted to the main tanks 1, 2, 3 and 4. We are looking at the rear face of the center wing box now. The trim air valves add hot air to the cold conditioned air to, to control cabin temperature. The, the bigger pipes are the conditioned air going into the cabin from the air conditioning packs underneath the center wing box. The APU bleed air duct bringing hot air forward to the air conditioning backpacks and to the pneumatic systems of the aircraft. We're looking at the kill beam of the aeroplane. And the various actuators that control the doors each of the three flight control computers control the roll axis through one of the two lateral central control actuators and the one lateral autopilot servo the two lateral central control actuators and the lateral autopilot servo convert electrical inputs to mechanical outputs by transferring hydraulic fluid to either side of internal actuators which produce a mechanical output to the aileron programmers and spoiler differential mechanisms. The two LCCAs and LAS perform the same tasks but the LCCAs can also accept mechanical inputs from a control column during manual operation. The right LCCA and LAS is in the left undercarriage bay and the left LCCA is in the right undercarriage bay. And here is the aileron programmer and the spoiler differential mechanisms. Now we are looking aft into the left hand body gear bay. And we shall shortly climb through and have a closer look.
Now we're standing actually inside the body gear bay, which is again in the fuselage of the aeroplane. And we're looking up at the APU bleed duct coming in from the rear, going forward. And we're now peering down at the hydraulic service point where we can uh, replenish the hydraulic quantities to all four hydraulic systems. Uh, looking forward into the wing gear bay. This is the trailing edge inboard flap drive mechanism with the various hydraulic supply lines and this is the flat actual flap drive unit down at the various actuators on the undercarriage for retract and extend the anti-skid module is basically your anti-lock brake system the locking mechanism that releases and locks the undercarriage up in the bay. Once again the flap drive unit and the various hydraulic supply pipes. I hope you have all enjoyed this look around the 747 and get a chance to get to see somewhere where you don't normally get to see as a member of the public. Well, thank you all for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this.